welcome back to the channel this is dipankar and we are going to continue the series of omni studio tips and tricks and in this video we are going to talk about how to launch an omni script from the flex card right so on this screen if you are able to see on the right side right so we have the list of contacts and we have a button add contact role and if i click on this button it basically launch an omni script right so we are going to talk about the same thing and we'll see how to configure this right so let's go to omni studio and i have a flex card and um, in our last video we have configured this uh, flex card basically but these didn't have anything right so these didn't have the contacts and these don't have the button to launch an omni script right so let's try to do this so this flex card is currently not activated so before doing this let me show you how the data looks like so if you click on save and fetch right so this is what the json looks like but if i remove this account part right so basically we are going to do a sanitation but yeah let me show you so it have the opportunity it have the node of selected contacts and it also have the node of account right now as soon as i remove this node from here right now this output or everything becomes blank right so we have to fix that as well so that won't take much time instead of account dot name right so if we write account dot account name this will populate and similarly we will do this for rest of the things right so let me do this for industry then let's do this for shipping street then we are going to do this for shipping city then we are going to do this for shipping postal code and now we are going to do this for country and now i will also update the created by me so i hope you understand right hi why i am writing account dot name that's because when i click save and fetch this account name shipping city country street they are inside the account nodes so that's why i wrote account dot followed by the name of the field right and you will notice one more thing in the build right in the fields we don't have all these things right for the street and industry and all these things the account id is showing that's because i think uh, this is currently present over here so that's okay uh, we have the thing now before that uh, i know our main goal is to launch omni script from the flex card we are going to build that but before that let's try to figure out one more additional thing if i want to call a child flex card right from the flex card how do i do that so basically in this uh, previous uh, flex card we have a child right so if i go to the design panel we are calling a child flex card and that name is display con details so if i want to do the same thing right so what i can do we can go to this uh, fields display or uh, we can choose a flex card right we can choose a new child flex card and we'll just drag it here and here we can give the name display con details and in the data node this is the region i have um, modified the json structure a bit because the child details right this is contact first name last name all these things they are presented in the selected contacts right so i am going to do the same thing now you see that this are coming blank but if i want to give it a name so for that so i can pass the record and from the record node we have the contacts leads in the selected contacts so that's why it showed up and it if it does not shows we can go manually and click save and fetch um see your json structure and let's do this right now i think uh, there is some issue with it um from the record the selected contact still does not appears let me show what i did wrong over here so it's record dot selected contacts and if we go to our previous as well so i think uh, this shows up uh, 
no worries uh, we'll just see why it does not shows up over here so we have can record start selected contacts and we'll click save and fetch and uh, now let's configure how to launch this omniscript launch an omniscript from the flex card to launch an omniscript basically we have to create an action right so we'll drag an action over here and uh, we can write the icon we will display it as button and we will give a variant like brand now disabled we are not going to disable it the main thing that we are going to configure over here is the action so let's give it a level um, like i can give it as add contact role now the action type would be omniscript and in the omniscript name we can give the same thing add opportunity contact add um let me see uh, so the type and subtype add sample opti contact role so that's what we are going to do over here uh, let me type opti contact role right so this is the omniscript the lay layout we can choose either of lightning or newport let me choose newport and the tab level uh, let me give the level as something like account dot account name okay and the icon we can give basically give any icon but let me choose an icon now the most important part is this context id so what i want to give context id over here so if i uh, click over here so we have the account id on the json right so we can give the account id as the context id and let's go to the build um i think it's we are still there in the properties so add contact role we can give the account id it's coming over here but i also copied it so we did this and let's style a bit i think we can align it to the right right let me choose it okay so i think the name didn't get renamed okay so with this can be here so now the name action should be relabeled to us contact role okay this is what we did and we'll also see why this didn't work and let me try to preview it for that i think we need a name i'll just uh are doing the preview to generate the contacts right basically the child flex card so let me see okay so the test parameters are already added since this was an only script previously used before so now you see that uh, although it didn't appear uh, while we are doing the design it appeared over here right and uh, basically this is the um, child flex card okay so you see the parent dot name they are not getting populated because they are an attribute so again this is an additional thing let me show you that as well so if you want to pass an attribute what you can do you can click on add new and in the attribute you can give the name and for the value let's say for you can keep the account id but i think we are we want to give the account dot name so this can be passed dynamically or maybe we can also write something like a uh, flex card so both those things they will work right uh, so for now i am choosing it to be dynamic because i think from account we have the account name and you see it here right so this is present and our main motive in this video was to launch the omniscript from the contact so what we did over here we added an action and in the actions we give the properties the level it doesn't matter but we give an level to make it meaningful the main thing is that we choose the type as omniscript we gave the name we choose the level and uh, we gave the label a name and we also choose the icon but uh, uh, i hope you are following my previous videos and in this video we we have basically launched that um 
you have created that omniscraft and we are able to launch it so basically if i show you the url over here right so the the url takes a context id so i think velocity sample optic contact troll let me show you context id so you can see the context id is being passed right so we also want to pass the context id and to pass the context id we have wrote account id over here right and basically um, i'm not sure you can uh, try it out for me it didn't work um, like launching the omni script while it's inactive so what i'm going to do we'll just uh, activate this flex card and if everything goes right uh, we'll see this uh, flex card over here in this particular screen right let me close this one and we didn't add this uh, two things or uh, the input and the another action that is filter so everything goes right we'll be able to see the same kind of omni script but uh, these two fields and upon clicking on this action we'll be able to launch the omni script now since this omni script is activated we will go over here and simply refresh the screen right uh, it did not refresh so what i can do i will just uh, i'm not sure if i have activated yeah i did activate it sometimes it does not work might be cache issue so what i do i can inspect it i will do a hard refresh let me see if that works it's taking some time let's wait for it right um now it seems there is some issue or uh, what i can do we'll just come to here we are sure that we have activated it let's do one thing let's edit this page Yeah, so basically the flex card would appear over here as a custom lightning web component right so let's wait for it so this is what we added previously right so if i show you the configuration this is display acc count details let me just remove it now search for this display acc con details i think okay so before that okay i think i understood why it was the mistake so this is acc details clone instead of display acc details so we'll just simply drag it over here so this is acc details clone and you see the two buttons removed right so let me click on save now since this is save we will go back and now we will be hopefully able to verify our launch of nescript button so let me remove this picture and now if i click on this add contact role it should launch the omni script right so you see this right it it launched the omni script let me try this again so now it is here and upon clicking this it launched the omni script as well right so hopefully uh, you have understood how to launch an omni script or maybe call an omni script from a flex cat and if you have any doubts you can also ping me or maybe write this in the comments 
and that's it for this video thank you for watching